first artist electronist. Let's uh, start this project. Uh, this basic stepper, it says here on the top, basic stepper motor driving. And uh, this movie is about, um, really about basic, how basic you can drive uh, two types of uh, stepper motors, uh, five wire stepper motors uh, and four wires. And uh, this uh, is called unipolar and this is called uh, bipolar, but uh, yeah, is what I have. Is uh, <laughs> are the motors that I uh, I have I have a uh, 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 actually I have them here. Uh, this guy two B something eight twenty eight B forty eight is looking like this. Uh, this is the original. Uh, and actually I have a better one. This one and also with the resistors uh, the the coil re resistance uh, measured. And this is a five wires motors uh, model. And I have another two models uh, of four wires motors. Uh, well, these are. This is, uh, I think this is it, no, this is it, uh, 17 MA17, uh, it's looking like this, uh, not not other pictures, only this, uh, it's looking like this, and um, NEMA8, which is very small and very weird, <laughs> it's not that powerful uh, as I imagine, but I'm also not sure I'm driving it correctly yet, at its full potential, uh, well, yeah, I kind of, uh, it's a specialized, probably it's a more specialized motor than NEMA8, so both of them are, those NEMA, uh, Motors are four wires and bipolar stepper motor, and this is the difference between uh, the five wire and the uh, and the four wire. So let's let's start. Uh, I numerated. Uh, pay attention here. I numerated as numerated. I, I marked uh, the pins as A, B, C, D. This is the order that this um, uh, how how to drive the motor actually, and it's the same here as well. Uh, imagine this. What I did here is this. This is a column that includes a manual uh, way of driving and a semi-automatic way of driving uh, using this uh, chip. But uh, do not use this uh, logic integrated circuit 4017 like I'm doing it like here, uh, like this here. This is for demonstration only. I, I, I've also mentioned that there. And also here, this part, this part is also the, for the four wire, both of them. Uh, so this is the first column with the five wires, and that is the second column. So let's uh, let's start uh, showing. Let's play it uh, now. Uh, <laughs> that guy already switched there because it got a, a plus a positive uh, wire there and it, it got to plus 30. Unfortunately, I have a little bug. Let me uh, Before running anything, let me actually show you the characteristics, uh, the settings of the motor because it has some settings. When you start creating a, a stepper motor, whatever it is, uh, actually I have, here I have a, this is, this says uh, unipolar stepper, which is this one here. And this is a bipolar stepper, which is having only four uh, pins and is this guy here. And when you first create uh, one, Actually, let me create one. Uh, uh, <laughs> so let me create a, a unipolar stepper here. When, when you create it, and you see that um, the characteristics uh, of of, uh, of it. Let's see if I can. No, I cannot. Uh, so this is set to 12 volts, 90 uh, degrees angle, step angle. Uh, this is the default. And these two values I change only. Uh, the rest I leave it as it is in original. So when I'm clicking here, I have only changed the 5 volts, and the step angle uh, is 20. Let me delete this guy here. So that's uh, and is uh, the same for the other one, uh, for both of them. Uh, five volts and step angle 20 degrees. It's good enough to to see how is moving, when is moving, and how is moving. That's the the only purpose. Uh, changing the, the step angle actually is the most important characteristic. Uh, you really want to see when is uh, when is turning. And if you want to make it very close to your motor, uh, well, doesn't matter. Really, doesn't matter. It is uh, to to show when it's turning. That's the only purpose of, and it's very good option to to have it there, actually. And, and I discovered pretty late. I didn't get it. Uh, quick enough, uh, you know. So uh, let's uh, let's run the project. Uh, finally, <laughs> uh, so uh, it should get to plus 20 here, but for some reason this uh, this motor here uh, is not is going to 30 as this one as well. Uh, both of them. Uh, when I'm pressing this mo uh, button, if I'm pressing it again, it doesn't run uh, over uh, over the 30 uh, angle. Um, I believe. Let me stop it again and run it again. Uh, the green mark is south, and the yellow mark is uh, north pole. So north pole and south pole. These are the magnets, uh, the blue ones. So when I'm pressing, is shifting to uh, 30 degrees positive <laughs> uh, forward, and then B, and is another 20 because this is 20 steps. Is the first step that is making it for some reason. I don't know why is making it 30. It should be 20, but uh, the rest are 20. So 50, 70 now, and then 90, and so on. And this is the the circle. Uh, let me actually make you a little diagram here. Uh, uh, this is the 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 sense of the motor that you you want to press from A to B to C to D and then back to A then C. Uh, B, C, and then D, and back to A, and so on, and so on, and so on, you know? And uh, uh, so I forget where I was here, uh, let's see, there. If I'm pressing this, it will get back, actually. It will rotate inverse. Uh, so, uh, but if I'm doing this, it will fuck up. It will not, it'll not uh, it'll reset itself somehow. And uh, uh, it's not good to press uh, out of order, pretty much. And if you uh, are keeping the order, it uh, will get to three, 360 degrees. Uh, this is 350 here, but uh, on, on the 60 degrees, it's actually the zero. 
and then is stepping to the next, uh, you know, and so on and so on. So this is how this guy and I stop the simulation. And here, uh, like I said, uh, don't use this uh, logic I see like I'm doing it here. Use it, but uh, with proper uh, protection. Uh, using uh, driving some transistors with the diodes, protection diodes uh, against the back uh, electromagnetic field of the coils of the motor. Uh, you know the drill. So this is the logic pretty much that must be protected as you can see here are the uh, the, the numbers uh, well the marking the markings uh, a b c d in actually this time is in order but here on the other side on the other uh, guy is, is not really in order a b d c uh, this is a special case uh, it, it must to run correctly but this is actually in order here and let's let's run it uh it's, it's performing the first step already because uh, that guy is um, the red is plus positive uh if i'm pressing one time it gets exactly like the manual uh, version uh, that i did uh, before uh, let me do it like this 70 a 90 100 and see uh, how everything is rotating as I did it manually, exactly as I did it manually. And this is 300, uh, no, 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 the other guy will, will uh, rotate correctly. Uh, this is a bug of the program probably, or some setting that I don't know how to, but uh, it's working uh, with a semi-automatic mode, uh, what I did here. Uh, and I start to love this, I see, because it's very easy to, I start to, to learn it uh, and use it. I, I use it a lot, this uh, 4017 uh, chip, it's very good. Um, so let's get to the four wire bipolar. And uh, let me explain what what is this uh, doing actually. Uh, first of all, uh, let's. Uh, so the, when I'm applying positive, each button is linked to positive, and the middle, the common wire of the five wire motor. This is represented here in Proteus as uh, six wires motors, six pins. But in reality, it's five wire, and these two must be linked together in the middle. Uh, they are representing the, the common wire. You can uh, actually you can uh, uh, put this uh, this middle ones here. You can put them either on the ground or on the positive, whatever, whatever, really doesn't matter. But it will uh, change the, the logic a little bit. You know, you have to apply negative uh, on the buttons here if this uh, common wire is linked to positive. So the logic, uh, as I draw it right now, is a, it's a bit more logical. <laughs> uh, it's easy to follow, you know, uh, easy to understand. And uh, this is the, the sense of the, when, I, when I'm pushing this uh, button here, uh, the, the current goes through here and uh, exits through this common wire to the ground. Pretty much this is it. And is performing one step. It's performing one step like that. And when I'm uh, switching this button, and that and this is off, um, and this is activated right now. Uh, the current goes through the coil of the motor like that, and exit again through the same uh, common pin, and rotating it another degree, and so on. You get it. And of course, you have to maintain the order of uh, permutations. And, but this guy uh, is a bit more complicated. It's a bit complicated because uh, you. What we have here, we have a common positive, as you can see it. And let me go. Uh, 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 this program doesn't have scrolls. Uh, they didn't think to, they didn't cross their minds to in, introduce uh, scroll, uh, horizontal scrolls and vertical scrolls of the program. And uh, it's very, very stupid. Uh, but yeah, we have to, to deal with it, I suppose. But it's very, very bad uh, engineered as a program, as a uh, software, uh, for some points. Uh, but it's having some very good points as well. So, and this is common negative. Uh, so every switch, I have a double switch, as you can see. And when I'm powering with positive and negative here, for each switch, is the same. Here I'm powering with positive on the, on the top. And on the bottom negative, on the top positive, and on the uh, bottom negative, and so on. The, the same is for the, the same the, all the uh, all the switches that I have here. So when I'm giving it five volts through here to this coil, A to D, is, this is the coil here, and this is uh, the other coil here. And uh, the current goes to the negative and is um, uh, let me do it like this no, or <laughs> or like this. Get back a little bit. So the current goes there, that way and is turning is coming back that way through a coil that is here. And the other one on the other side, and then to to make this the next angle, I uh, this will uh, uh, get uh, into a three-state mode that is neither negative nor positive. That the switch I mean, so this uh, this switch will uh, be in air pretty much if I'm uncouple it, if uh, if I'm releasing it. Uh, let me draw again, and then if as you can see everything is in air. This is a, a third state actually, which is very important. Uh, this third state, the, the positive and negative are two states, but in air. Uh, without any uh, contacts of any electrical contacts of any kind it's a third state which is very very important in, in electronics uh, sorry that uh, arrow is like this actually and it's coming back like this to so b and c let's see that the, the coil is here so uh, i'm active when i'm activating is is uh, is activating this coil here when i'm activating this switch and uh, the same goes uh, uh, these other two are, are uh, special uh, the, these two uh, the last the last two are special because they are the inverse of this of the first two I hope it's making uh, some sense. You can follow the, the wires. This uh, Actually, I can do it like this. This wire is going as a positive. is going to the D coil. Uh, is returning through the uh, A. While in the first case, the positive was going through the A coil and returning through the D in the first uh, switch. So the, the switch 3 is the inverse of the switch 1. And switch 4 is the inverse of the switch 2. 
Uh, actually, I have um, a video here that is, is explaining exactly this uh, uh, phenomenon on YouTube. This is what is doing this way, and then is rotating, inversing the, the battery, uh, creating the same, uh, uh, the, the next steps, pretty much. And then rotating again, the battery, and uh, getting back to switch one. So let's play it a little bit. Uh, let's, uh, well, uh, it was like that. So, uh, when I, this is a, another bug of this program. When I'm uh, clicking this, the first switch is not switching anything. It's not commutating. It's not turning the motor uh, at all. Uh, but this is a bug of the program, probably. Uh, but when I'm when I'm uh, switching the second switch, it will turn to 20 degrees. This is the correct. Uh, this is creating the correct uh, alignment or degree as I specified in the motor. Uh, if you remember, huh? you see here a step angle as 20 degrees. So this is actually counting correctly. Uh, uh, but we have to switch first this one, even if it's not switching anything uh, visible. Then it will switch correctly the next uh, one here. And then 3 is 40, 4 is 60, and then again. Uh, then it is 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60. But this 60, the 360 degrees is actually 0 right now. And now it's coming back to 20 again, and so on and so forth. OK, so that's the manual way of um, Driving this motor, uh, this is semi-automatic. Like before, don't use this. Like I'm, like I'm making it here in reality. Don't, don't link it like this. You will have to drive it through some transistors. Some uh, you have to add some protection diodes. Uh, and uh, this is only the logic part that should be protected uh, from uh, from high voltages and high currents uh, from the motors. And, uh, yeah, from the circuit. This is only demonstration here. So when I'm pressing one click here, it's very easy to, to press one one time and create the, the proper angle. You see, 60, 80, uh, 100, exactly like the manual uh, version. Uh, but in semi-automatic, it's very easy to to see it. And when it's reaching, I will uh, when it's reaching 360. Actually, that is zero, and, and it, it did change to zero. Actually, huh. uh, it didn't uh, back in uh, in time for my other. Uh, but this uh, right now it did for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I was lucky. And uh, also pay attention to the order how this is uh, moving. Uh, uh, also here, pay attention here, and also for each uh, uh, marking that I have there. So let's see. Uh, when I'm pressing right now, is on A. Next is on B. Next. Uh, it will so it's uh, A to B and then is going there D and C and from C is going back to A. This is the the logic. Now is D as I, as I told you. And next is C and next is A. You see, it's uh, like a square and a X in the middle, pretty much. And uh, I think I covered everything. This is the logic. This is how they are working. Uh, this is a basic uh, representation of uh, of the how to drive this kind of uh, motors. These are very popular motors actually. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you learned something. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, see you later, alligator, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope I didn't forget anything important. I hope not. Right, okay, thank you very much. And uh, goodbye. Bye bye bye.